Hello, Girl Scouts. Welcome back to Girl Scouts at Home. I'm Nicole, and this is yoga. I'm so happy to see you back with me again in my home. It's, of course, a little bit cluttered and a little bit messy, but here we are together. No matter what our houses look like, we're just here living our best lives, right? I hope you're still washing your hands, eating your veggies, getting lots of sleep, brushing your teeth, right? Gotta brush those teeth, and just really taking good care of yourselves, Girl Scouts. And part of yoga is making sure that we are moving our bodies in a way that makes us feel really healthy. Uh, today we are going to work on being calm. Being calm and being strong and being confident, okay? Sometimes, um, life can be really scary and we can uh, feel anxious about things and I want us to be able to have some tools to remind us all how strong and how calm and how confident we can be even when we're feeling kind of afraid or kind of weak, okay? So let's start. We're going to start sitting down. You can see I don't even have a mat out today. I'm just going to do yoga on the floor. I don't need a mat. It's all right if you don't have a mat. So let's find a nice comfy place to sit. I like to sit in crisscross applesauce. Maybe scooch those luxury goods to the side so you can feel nice and grounded, okay? You should feel um, super like settled in right here, just, just very calm and settled, okay? You can take your hands, rest them on your legs. You can rest them palms up or palms down, it doesn't matter. Oh, my little paper's blowing away. Do you see it beside me? Go ahead, give those shoulders a roll up, back, and down. And close your eyes. We'll breathe in through our noses and out through our noses. You might have some seasonal allergies right now and your nose is just really stuffy. That's okay, if you can't breathe through your nose, breathe through your mouth. Maybe listen to what's going on around you. You might hear the wind in the background of this video. It's really windy here in Lincoln today. hope you're already feeling a little bit more calm since we're really focusing on our breath today. We are going to work on a little five part breath or taking five big breaths in and out. We're going to let our palm, our hand, help us do that, okay? So here's my hand and I'm going to trace my hand with my other finger. So it doesn't matter which hand you hold up and which hand you trace with. All right, it's fine, you just pick one. We're gonna go ahead and hold up our hand. We're gonna use one finger to trace, okay? So as we inhale, we're going to trace up our finger. All right, so it might sound like this. And then as we exhale, we'll trace down our finger. Inhale up, exhale down. Inhale up, exhale down. Inhale up, exhale down. Inhale up, exhale down. So how did that feel? It, um, when we breathe like that, when we sort of trace our hand and concentrate on our breath, it allows us that time to slow down and really focus on our breath. And I want you to know that anytime you're feeling nervous or stressed out or angry, you can always just pull back, hold up your hand, and take five really nice, slow, deep breaths tracing that hand, okay? Um, it really helps just calm your body down and settle you down, okay? So let's do that one more time, all right? Hold up your hand, 
maybe you don't trace, maybe you just think in your brain, up and down. All right, let's do five more breaths. Very good. So that's a nice skill to have to help you calm down a little bit, just feel a little better. All right, everyone, let's go ahead and stand up. How are you feeling? Do you feel really calm? I feel really calm. I know my neighborhood is really noisy today. I've got the windows open, but I'm not even distracted. I'm just breathing, not caring about what's going on around me. So I hope you feel that way too. All right, let's stand up, everyone. We are going to go through five different feelings um, with some yoga poses that we can remind ourselves of. So you can always go back to your hand. We're gonna learn about five uh, emotions or five characteristics of making sure that we stay really strong when we're not feeling so strong, okay? So we are going to start with our first little breath. I am strong, right? I'm strong. Let's do warrior pose to remind us that we're strong, okay? So we'll put a little space between our feet, all right? I'm gonna keep my right foot just like that, facing forward, and I'm going to turn my left foot out to the side, okay? I'll go ahead and sink forward, reach my arms out into warrior two. Give your shoulders a roll back. Check on your knee. Sometimes our knee comes out over our foot. If that happens to you, just scoot your feet wider. All right, reach those arms out, warriors. We'll take a few breaths here and just tell yourself, I am strong. I am strong, right? Yeah. So strong. All right, let's do the other side too, okay? So we'll turn our left foot back in to meet our right, and then turn our right foot out to the side. Sink into that right knee and reach our arms out, warrior two. Do you remember what you're reminding yourself? I am strong, yes you are. Don't forget to breathe in through your nose and out through your nose. Beautiful job. Let's take a little break. You can slide your feet in. Great job. You know, sometimes we don't feel very strong, right? Sometimes we feel really sad or really scared and not very strong. So if you're ever feeling that way, maybe just, you know, pop into a warrior pose and remind yourself how strong you are even when you're feeling weak, okay? Next, we're gonna work on our second finger. So we've got, I am strong. And next we have, I am kind. I was trying to think of a pose we could do to remind us that we're kind. And what I decided on was tree pose. I think trees are one of the kindest things, living things on the planet. They provide a home for so many different animals. They provide food. Think of all the foods that you eat that come from a tree. Can you think of some? I think of oranges, apples, walnuts, almonds, so many food. So many foods grow on trees, foods for us and foods for animals. Trees process the carbon dioxide that we breathe out and help make oxygen for us to breathe. And I just think trees are really kind. So when, when we're reminding ourselves that we're kind, let's do a tree pose, all right? We've done this before together. Nice firm base on one of your feet. Feel those roots. 
and then we've got roots, and then we're going to make a branch, okay? And maybe your branch is down on the ground, that's okay. Try not to let your branch be right on your knee, above or below your knee, okay, trees? We're going to stand up nice and tall and take a few breaths here. And just remember, I am kind. Kind like a tree. Kindness is such a superpower. Do you think kindness is a superpower? I do. I know when I'm kind, everyone feels really good, and I feel really good, and it makes me feel really helpful, and I think that's a superpower. Ooh, a little windy in here. Okay, good job. Let's try the other side, okay? So we'll find roots on our other side. Ooh, and then we'll find our branch. Beautiful job, trees. And remember, your arm branches can look however you'd like. I just have mine right here close to my heart today. You can see my little Girl Scout symbol on my shirt. And take a few breaths here. Great job. Let's go ahead and come down. You can give those hips a little shake. All right, for our next pose, our next reminder, we're going to say, I am brave. So we've got, I am strong, I am kind, I am brave. For brave, I picked ski jumper pose. I think skiing is really scary, and when I see people skiing, and especially like if I watch the Olympics and I see people ski jumping, it's so scary to me. Those people have to be really brave. So let's work on ski jumper pose, shall we? All right, we're gonna start in chair pose. So I have my feet just a little bit apart, like about two fists, okay? You can't see that when I turn to the side. Go ahead and just sit your hips back like you've got an invisible chair behind you. And think about what your knees are doing. Sometimes when we do chair pose, our knees like fall in, okay? I want you to keep them open and facing forward. Okay, Girl Scouts? Okay, so we've got our chair pose. Let's go ahead, reach our arms up. Take a big inhale, and then as we exhale, we'll reach our arms back and say, I am brave. Are you ready? I am brave. Great job, inhale, reach those arms up. Exhale, arms come back. I am brave. One more time, inhale, reach our arms up. And exhale. I am brave. Good job, Girl Scouts. You can do that anytime you need a reminder that you are brave. All right, what's next? I am friendly. So we've got I am strong. I am kind. I am brave. I am friendly. So the pose that I thought of to do for I am friendly is downward dog because I have dogs and they are so friendly and I just love that they love everyone. They don't judge, they don't judge you for who you are. They just love you and they want to be friendly, okay? So we're going to do down dog pose to remind ourselves that we're friendly, all right? So we'll start with our hands on the ground and our feet back behind us, okay? And then we'll lift up those hips, make an upside down V, downward dog. And you can have your feet a little bit apart. You can't really see that probably when I'm turned this direction, but my feet aren't close together. There's a little bit of space between them. And just let your heart sink down. You can bend your knees. Okay, and we'll stay here in down dog for a few breaths reminding ourselves that I am friendly. Good job, Girl Scouts. And for our last finger, our little pinky finger, 
we're going to remind ourselves that I am wise, that I know what to do and I can do it, okay? So we've got I am strong, I am kind, I am brave, I am friendly, and I am wise. So for I am wise, the pose that I chose is owl pose, okay? So if you want to sit just how I'm sitting, I have my hips back on my heels. Maybe your hips don't get back to your heels. It's okay, you can always take a pillow and like sit on top of that pillow, all right? So here we are, little owls. <sighs> Give your shoulders a roll, sit up nice and tall, heart open, head held high. Do you feel like an owl sitting on its perch? They always sit in their perches. They're very tall and they maybe look around. Yeah. Owls are supposed to be very wise. Yes, remind yourself that you are smart. You know what you're doing. You've got this. Good job, Girl Scouts. You can go ahead and find a comfy sit one more time, maybe crisscross applesauce, if that feels good for you. Let's do one more round of our little five finger breathing, okay? And maybe you can remind yourself um, of the poses we did today and remind yourself how strong you are, all right? So let's start with that first inhale. I am strong. Next inhale, I am kind. Next inhale, I am brave. Next inhale, I am friendly. And last inhale, I am wise. Thank you for doing yoga with me again today, Girl Scouts. I hope that you're enjoying all of our Girl, Girl Scouts at Home programming. Be sure to follow us on Facebook and Instagram. Check out our YouTube channel. Post any questions you have. Again, my name is Nicole Vesley and I work in Outreach for Girl Scouts in Lincoln. Hunt me down if you want to ask me any questions. And you can always go online to girlscoutsnebraska.org and submit ideas for things that you would like to see on Girl Scouts at Home. It doesn't have to be a big idea. You don't have to know how to do it or how to plan it. Uh, but we're interested to see what you would like to see on Girl Scouts, either on Facebook Live or on our YouTube channel. Just programming that you would like to see on Girl Scouts at Home. So definitely send us those suggestions and I will see you very soon next time here with Yoga at Home. Keep washing your hands, brushing your teeth, eating your veggies, and being kind and brave and strong and wise. Bye everyone. <laughs>